This exercise was conducted in international airspace. I assume that uh, Israel uh, made all the required notifications to international air authorities. So this exercise was not a secret. Um, what was its purpose? Well, uh, I wouldn't get into any specifics of any given exercise. The IDF is uh, training uh, regularly for uh, different uh, eventualities and uh, to meet different threats. Uh, the important issue is uh, that uh, the world, uh, not only Israel by the way, is facing this extremely uh, serious threat emanating from uh, Iran. This potential combination of uh, a fanatic regime, uh, largest export of, uh, exporter of terror uh, worldwide with the fingerprints in almost every place that uh, terror is uh, active uh, in the world, with the potential of having a uh, nuclear weapon in their hands, uh, could uh, mean uh, that our children uh, would be living in a different world. It's not as if Israel doesn't have a fairly impressive track record against nuclear programs. Why do you think you're having so much trouble getting the world to listen to you? Or getting, actually, let me ask you this. Why, why do you think you're having so much trouble getting Iran to listen to you? Well, Iran uh, would, uh, we believe, we hope, uh, listen to the world. And I think that uh, your question is, why is it so difficult to get enough in the world to listen is, uh, is a key question. And we uh, support uh, uh, in every way we can the efforts of this country, of the United States of America, to get other countries in the world to cooperate. You say the window for diplomatic action is closing. How much time is there? Less today than we had yesterday. And it's, uh, it's, it's running out. And as I said before, they are uh, spinning the centrifuges. They are accumulating uh, the enriched uranium uh, that uh, is necessary uh, for a bomb. They are advancing in their uh, uh, missile developments, in missiles that uh, are now covering the entire Middle East and uh, tomorrow may cover uh, parts of Europe, if not, if not beyond. They are, uh, they are moving forward. And uh, uh, if uh, they are to be stopped, uh, the efforts of the world, the international community, should be enhanced dramatically and be enhanced now. What is Israel's red line? The one that the Iranians will not cross. Do the Iranians know what their red line is? Have you, told, have, have you made it clear to the Iranians what line they cannot cross? I think what's important is that the Iranians understand that they would not be allowed by the international community to go nuclear. And that they understand that uh, the world uh, is not going to acquiesce with it. Because uh, we should have learned our lessons uh, from previous uh, times when you had uh, regimes, uh, totalitarian, uh, committed to expand their uh, hegemony uh, regionally who were uh, uh, confronting world order. Uh, in the past, uh, there were occasions, at least one that uh, our generations do remember, where the world uh, chose not to act on time. And when uh, the world reacted, it was very late. <coughs> and I'd say from a Jewish perspective, after or uh, not in a time that was possible or, or enough to save the lives of six million Jews. So we hope that this time the world uh, will get their act together on time, and the on time is now.